chip maker NVIDIA has become the first ever company to reach a market value of $5 trillion, reflecting investors' confidence in the future of artificial intelligence. NVIDIA has built an empire on chips that power artificial intelligence, gaming rigs, and data centers across the globe. Their GPUs are inside the machines training chat GPT, rendering Hollywood blockbusters and running autonomous vehicles. It's about revolutionizing one of the most compute intensive industries in the world, design and engineering. But now whispers are circulating through tech circles about something unexpected, a device that could put all that AI power directly into your pocket. The kind of move that would force every major player in mobile to rethink their strategy. So what's actually going on here? The mobile AI arms race. And what's especially interesting is there are no NVIDIA GPUs in there. Smartphones today are more powerful than the supercomputers of two decades ago. Yet most of their AI capabilities still rely heavily on cloud servers. When you ask Siri a question or use Google Translate, your phone sends data to distant data centers for processing. This creates latency privacy concerns, and dependency on internet connectivity. We know that when we can do things on device, we are able to manage people's privacy in the, in the, in the best way. The industry has recognized this limitation, and the race is on to bring true AI processing directly onto mobile devices. The big category of AI chip is gaining ground, the custom ASIC, application-specific integrated circuit. Qualcomm currently dominates the mobile chip market with their Snapdragon processors, which power most Android phones. Apple designs their own chips for iPhones, pushing neural engine capabilities further with each generation. Samsung, Google, and even MediaTek have thrown their weight behind on-device AI. Everyone wants to own the next era of mobile computing. NVIDIA, meanwhile, has stayed conspicuously absent from smartphones. They tried once before with the Tegra line of mobile processors, which powered some early tablets and the Nintendo Switch. But they never cracked the smartphone market. Their focus shifted to data centers and AI infrastructure, where profit margins dwarf those of cutthroat mobile chips. That decision paid off spectacularly. NVIDIA's market value now exceeds a trillion dollars. Why would NVIDIA return to mobile now? The landscape has changed dramatically since NVIDIA's last mobile attempt. AI isn't just a feature anymore, it's becoming the core function. Devices that can run large language models, process natural language, generate images, and handle complex multimodal tasks locally represent an entirely different product category. This isn't about making a better smartphone. It's about creating something fundamentally new. NVIDIA possesses advantages that didn't matter in the old mobile wars, but could prove decisive now. Their CUDA software ecosystem is the industry standard for AI development. Their experience optimizing neural network performance is unmatched. They understand thermal management for high-performance chips better than almost anyone. And critically, they have relationships with every major AI company and developer community. An NVIDIA mobile device wouldn't just be hardware, it would be a platform that developers already know how to build for. The timing also aligns with broader market shifts. Consumers are keeping phones longer, upgrade cycles have slowed, and people need compelling reasons to buy new devices. A phone that can run sophisticated AI models without internet, process video in real time, translate conversations instantly, or function as a serious gaming device could provide that reason. What on-device AI actually means. When we talk about on-device AI, we're discussing neural networks running locally rather than in the cloud. This requires specialized hardware, specifically designed to handle the mathematics of machine learning efficiently. Modern AI models perform billions of calculations for even simple tasks. Getting that to run smoothly on a battery-powered device without overheating represents a genuine engineering challenge. NVIDIA's expertise lies precisely in this domain. Their tensor cores, designed for AI workloads, could theoretically be adapted for mobile form factors. The company has already demonstrated impressive efficiency improvements in their data center chips. Applying similar architectural innovations to a smartphone-sized processor isn't simple, but it's within their capabilities. The benefits of local AI processing extend beyond speed. Privacy improves dramatically when your data never leaves your device. Reliability increases because you're not dependent on network connections. 
and new use cases emerge when AI responses happen in milliseconds rather than seconds. Imagine a camera that understands scenes in real time and adjusts not just exposure, but composition suggestions, or voice interactions that feel genuinely conversational because there's no cloud latency, real-time translation during face-to-face -face conversations, video editing with AI assistance that doesn't require uploading footage. These applications become practical only when the AI runs locally. The gaming wildcard. Thanks to its original gaming engine, the GPU, becoming king of AI chips. So what exactly optimizes a chip for AI? NVIDIA's heritage in gaming graphics could provide an unexpected advantage. Mobile gaming has exploded into a $100 billion industry, yet it remains technically limited compared to console or PC experiences. A phone with genuine desktop-class GPU capabilities would interest both casual mobile gamers and cloud gaming services we see that growing even faster than the GPU market over the next few years. The switch proved that NVIDIA could build compelling gaming hardware outside traditional categories. That device uses a modified Tegra chip and has sold over 140 million units. NVIDIA learned valuable lessons about thermal design, battery life, and mobile gaming optimization. Those lessons could apply to a smartphone designed with serious gaming capabilities. Cloud gaming services like GeForce Now, Xbox Cloud Gaming, and PlayStation Plus increasingly target mobile devices. A phone optimized for game streaming with hardware-accelerated decoding and minimal latency could carve out a niche. NVIDIA owns one of those services and understands the technical requirements intimately. The challenges are real. Entering the smartphone market in 2024 isn't like entering any other tech sector. The barriers are enormous. Manufacturing at scale requires supply chain relationships that take years to establish. Distribution demands partnerships with carriers and retailers. Software optimization needs thousands of apps to work flawlessly. Customer support infrastructure must handle millions of users. Then there's the business reality. Smartphone profit margins are thin unless you're Apple. Samsung and Google pour billions into marketing their flagship devices. The market is mature and somewhat saturated. Convincing consumers to take a chance on a brand without mobile credibility would require massive investment. NVIDIA also has extremely profitable businesses already. Why risk resources on a notoriously difficult market when data center AI chips sell for thousands of dollars with huge margins? Shareholders might question the strategic logic. The opportunity cost is significant. What actually exists versus speculation. It's important to separate what we know from what's being discussed. NVIDIA has not announced a smartphone. They have not confirmed development of mobile processors intended for phones. The company continues focusing publicly on data centers, automotive computing, and professional visualization. What does exist is NVIDIA's ongoing work in edge AI computing. They produce the Jetson line of embedded computing modules used in robotics, drones, and industrial applications. These demonstrate their capability to build efficient AI processors for power-constrained environments. They also continue refining their GPU architectures, each generation bringing better performance per watt. The broader industry conversation around AI smartphones is very real. Multiple companies are working on devices that prioritize AI capabilities. Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon chips emphasize neural processing. Apple's recent iPhones highlight on-device machine learning. Google positioned their Pixel phones around AI features. The market is moving in this direction, regardless of any single company's plans. NVIDIA's potential entry, if it were to happen, would represent a major strategic shift. It would signal their belief that mobile devices are becoming important enough to their AI ecosystem to justify the investment in risk. What developers and industry watchers are saying. The AI development community has taken notice of speculation around NVIDIA mobile devices. Many developers already build for NVIDIA's platforms and would welcome a mobile target. The ability to deploy the same models across data centers, edge devices, and smartphones would simplify development considerably. Industry analysts point out that NVIDIA has options beyond selling phones directly to consumers. They could license chip designs to manufacturers, similar to ARM's business model. They could partner with an established brand to provide the processor and AI platform. They could focus on developer devices and professional tools as rather than mass market products. Any of these approaches would be less risky than launching a consumer smartphone brand.
They would leverage NVIDIA's strengths while avoiding areas where they lack experience. And they would still position NVIDIA at the center of the mobile AI ecosystem. The bigger picture. Whether NVIDIA releases a smartphone or not, the underlying trend matters more. AI is moving from the cloud to the edge. Devices are becoming smarter and more capable of independent operation. The distinction between phone, computer, and AI assistant is blurring. Companies that can deliver powerful, efficient AI hardware will shape the next decade of consumer technology. NVIDIA is undeniably one of those companies. Their influence on AI development cannot be overstated. If they decide mobile devices represent a strategic priority, they have the technical capability and financial resources to make an impact. The question isn't really whether NVIDIA could build an impressive AI smartphone. They almost certainly could. NVIDIA has catapulted from gaming giant to the very core of generative AI, training the models, running the workloads, and sending NVIDIA's valuation soaring. The question is whether they will and whether the market timing makes strategic sense. For now, we can observe the pieces moving into position. Mobile AI capabilities are advancing rapidly. NVIDIA continues expanding beyond their traditional strongholds. Developers are eager for better tools and platforms, and consumers are beginning to understand what on-device AI can actually do. The next few years will reveal whether those pieces come together into something genuinely new or whether the smartphone market remains the domain of its current giants. Either way, the conversation itself tells us something important. The future of mobile computing is being reimagined, and NVIDIA's name keeps coming up in those conversations for good reason.